the nose tackle uh, competition? What is your overview of her at this point? Well, at this point, everybody's doing a great job in understanding what we want from our defense, um, our assignment, our alignment. Uh, when it comes down to it, as we finish uh, through our training camp, uh, really just understanding, you know, the consistency of the position and knowing that the guy that we're putting in that position is going to be a technician over and over and over and over again. Again, nothing is etched in, etched in gold in our room. It's etched in sand until we prove it. So it's consistency. Of the Correct. But everybody's done a pretty pretty solid job uh, from Kenny, uh, Gilly, uh, Marlon, and Joshua. So, again, as time as time progresses, you know, the leader's going to stick stick out, you know, as, as we get ready for our rest of Michigan. How is Kenny being a senior helped out the younger ones? Kenny's done a tremendous job, um, you know, a young man that's dealt with a great amount of adversity since he's been here. And um, I commend him for still, you know, showing up, you know, giving everything he got on a day-to-day -day basis. And more importantly, you know, being a big brother to the younger guys and teaching them things that, you know, they're struggling with. Thank you. Did you have any reservation about starting a true freshman at GT? I don't care if you're a 79-year-old senior citizen. The best person <laughs> always going to play here. Yeah. Cool. What, what do you see out of Marlon specifically? Excuse me? Out of Marlon, what have you seen out of him specifically? I've seen, uh, and I'm smiling as I say this, a professional. Yeah. Um, I see that with a lot of the guys. You know, always upstairs, always asking the right questions, always has a pen and pad out. If you saw our group's notes from Chenna to Porter, you would think they were coaches in making. You know, and that stems from, you know, Coach Nancy doing a great job with his time, with, with the entire group and my time as well. And Coach Clark does an amazing job as well. What have uh, Josh Fatu brought to the table? Leadership, you know, Joshua got some quality snaps. He had a little bit over 200 snaps last year, and he did a phenomenal job for us. The biggest thing with Fatu is, again, consistency. Same thing that we that we teach with all of our young men. You know, that's the mark of a professional. It's never going to change. So with Fatu, that's one of his biggest things. Um, young D lineman, you have to understand the importance of consistency. Again, you're looking for the same guy. Like Coach Clancy said, we're looking for the same guy every day. You guys have quite a few more bodies than you usually have had. Yeah, it feels, it feels a little better, too. It feels a little better, you know, looking down and not knowing where the next guy's coming from. But, again, you know, that starts from the top down with Clay, you know, um, you know signing a great class. And, of course, the, you know, the assistant's doing a great job in, uh, in, in making the class what it was. But with, with more options and the nature of, you know, that position, do you envision seeing, that, like, more of a rotation in the line? Again, that's something that I am not in control of. Yeah. Uh, our defensive coordinator has a great mentality. The best 11 are going to play. Mm -hmm. And if you're not one of those 11, you should be fighting. You should be fighting and clawing to be one of those 11. You know, we don't count, we don't count reps. We, we literally count production. As a group, how much more comfortable are these guys than they were a year ago, same position? We talk about it as a staff. I mean, it's night and day. We really feel comfortable. Um, and that's normal, especially when you're learning a new system, a defense, an offense, special teams. It takes a while to get acclimated, and once you get it, you know, it's really how, what steps are we going to take for it the next day? Um, you know, are we going to see things faster? Are guys going to be reacting to blocks better? So it's really cool when you see it, and you look back at film last year, and you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, you know, and it's, again, it's a process. That's why you never get too high, never get too low, especially when you're coaching young kids, because it's a process. These aren't NFL guys, all right? They're not nearly ready to go. These are this, this, these are young men that are that are still learning the game, and that's what we're doing. We're just trying to be great teachers to them. For that freshman group, Marlon, Brandon, uh, Jay, are they in a place where probably don't necessarily expect freshmen to be as I a would, group? I would say for the most part, uh, Marlon, because he was a mid-year guy. Um, again, him being here in the springtime and going through an entire spring ball, I mean, you see it all throughout the country. Those guys are usually more ready when the fall comes because they've been acclimated, they've been around it longer. So um, if I were to say, you know, who was ahead, you know, as far as the learning curve and, you know, being a technician, it would be Marlon because he's been there for a longer duration of time. Brandon obviously has a different body than the other guys. Um, what does that allow you to do? Well, don't let this move taste fool you. He can dunk a basketball off one leg. He's a phenomenal athlete, you know, not even not even talking about his size. So, um, but again, he's getting introduced, he's getting introduced his first year into a sophisticated defense, you know, so it's not more or less him, you know, in his body type, it's more or less what he can handle at this moment. And right now he's doing a great job and just working on little things. If it's hand placement, we're working on hand placement. If it's block reaction, he's working on block reaction. But again, 
these young men are just in the early early maturation stages of their game so it's really good that they hold on to the you know to the to the technique and then of course the process you know whether it's in the run game or pass game whatever it is the process of becoming a great player is there, you, a, bu is there a bunch of stuff for the freshmen to come in and yeah. Yeah. have you ever played the defensive line did it yes it's, it's difficult because again you're going against you know you're no longer going against a lesser opponent in high school you're going against a guy with similar skill set, you know, just as big as you are. So you have to hone in on your technique. Everybody's talented, but it ain't about talent. It's about being a technician. Because I know many guys that had superb, phenomenal athletic ability, but they couldn't hold. They couldn't hold. They couldn't hold. They couldn't hold their own against just a guy that lined up every play and gave you the same, the same, same amount of technique and the same amount of, the same amount of discipline, playing and play out. That's what it comes down to. Who's going to do stuff right the longest? Would you say it's more sophisticated than for the D linemen specifically than what you know, you played here? I'm sorry, one more time. Would you say it's more sophisticated for the D linemen than when you played here? I would, I, I would say it was, it was more or less the same. Um, you know, I thought they were both, you know, NFL style defenses. Mm -hmm. um, they both do a great job in, um, in really challenging you to, to not only just be a one-dimensional guy. I mean, everybody has more than just one responsibility. You know, and that's one of the cool things about the defense. You know, it intrigues a lot of positions because it's really an interesting defense when you're actually when you're in it.